everybody, it's the Doll Circle, and today I'm opening another of the Freaky Field Trip dolls, and this one is Gigi Grant. So make sure to watch the other video, which we opened up Torlai already, and I will be opening up Claudine eventually this week as well. And I'll show you first the box art, and as, like I said, if you guys haven't seen the other videos yet, they changed the boxes. They're all plastic now, so kind of like the Ever After High boxes. And she's actually going to the, instead of, it's called, instead of like a planetarium where they like show the stars, it's a planet... Scarium. <laughs> so I thought that was a really cool play on the words. And thank you to the person who commented and said where they put the location on the back of the box, where it tells you where each character goes. Because at first I was like, where are they going? Well, obviously she has planets on her, so maybe she's looking at the stars. But someone's like, oh, if you actually read the back, it tells you where they go. So thank you for posting that comment. And it was like a, it was like a sentence, so we like just totally looked right over it. Yeah, like I didn't even really. Pay. I was like, oh, look, it has a little description, but I didn't like read the whole description. My fault. <laughs> So of course, her box is really, really cute. I like how, like, I, I agree, they've changed their faces a little bit and they look more like comic book-like, which another person commented and Chase brought up. And I like how she's looking at her little, like, I suppose they called it a kaleidoscope, it's a telescope. So I thought that's really cute and I like the art there. And then of course it has Monster High going down the side here. And then t turning over to the right side of the box, it's going to have more of her, the box art of her. And then to the back, it has a big profile picture of her which is just from like the chest up. And then of course it has the little description and the last line is where it says that she's going. So I thought that was again a really, really yeah, cool it detail. it says, Gigi Totes has the stars in her eyes at the planet Scarium. See, I like that, it's so cute. And I like the play on words. Always they're doing this, of course, like, you know, calling things and adding in the word like scary or boo or something. So I really like how they added that in. And I love her. Like, honestly, her and Toril are probably my favorite two out of the line so far. Again, I haven't opened up Claudine yet, but just from the overall appearance, I really, really, really like it. And I love Gigi. Like, at first I didn't like her, but now I'm learning more and more to like her. So, I don't, I'm just ready to get her out of the box. I want to see her outfit close up, because in the box, it looks gorgeous. <laughs> so, I opened Gigi up, and every Gigi that's been coming out has been getting prettier and prettier, in my opinion. Like, the first one was gorgeous, the second one for Scaremaster was even more gorgeous, and now this one looks even more flawless. Like, I love her hair. I saw Claudina Nine's review, and he said that her hair was great. I completely agree with him. It's fantastic. So here, I'll actually start with the back of her. Her hair is completely straight, and it's really soft, too. So they didn't put a lot of product in her hair, and I love that. I love when they do that to dolls. It's so cute. And she has, one, like, a little, like, half part on the top of her hair with a little ponytail, and that's the only piece that's orange. And it's really super short. So when I show you the front, you can see the part on it. I like it. Again, it's just so silky. And look here, it just like moves so easily. Like I, oh, flawless hair. I love it. And turning her around, beautiful blue eyeshadow on her. And of course, really pretty, pretty, not pretty, pretty pink lips to match her hair. And again, here's the little side part ponytail that goes up on the top and it goes all the way down the back here and it gets really short. I love it. I love that it's primarily pink. It's a gorgeous, gorgeous shade. One of my favorite colored pinks. And again, blue eyeshadow, a little bit of gold going around the eye just to kind of help it pop a little bit. And then of course, pink, like I said, lipstick to match her hair. Now going to her outfit, <laughs> her necklace is this gorgeous gold necklace with a scorpion, of course, which is like her little pet on her necklace at the bottom. And then if you can see, her dress has this beautiful, like, light blue sheer piece over the top. Just a cut little triangle on it, nothing too fancy. But the dress has little constellations on it, so it has little star pieces. Like, it's just, I absolutely, let me see if I can lift it and you guys can it's see. like a scorpion, like, a bunch of scorpions that look like. Oh, she, she's a Scorpio. Oh, that's so cute. <laughs> she has, like, little scorpion, um, constellations going around her dress. And of course, it's supposed to be like a galaxy theme, so it's all purple and light purple and dark purple. It's really, really pretty. And also, I don't know if you said this, but you can see her tattoo on her neck. Mm -hmm. The tattoo really does pop out really well on her chest piece. They all do on all of them. It seems like they give like a little bit of a V-neck to her to kind of show off her chest piece. But that's one thing I really do like about that, this doll is the detailing. And then, of course, on her body it has her normal markings going on her arms and legs. You want to turn to the side and show her... Uh, telescope. Oh yeah. I'm gonna leave it like rubber banded in because I lose things and I'd rather have a rubber band so I don't lose it. But can we twist it so you guys can see it? It is really detailed though. It's all gold and it has of course the little like scorpions on the side and little like beading like again really really detailed. I really like that. It's cute. And that's one of the accessory pieces she comes with. This doll does not include a stand. It does not include a brush. This is a stand that I put on it. 
And then let me go to the shoes and then I'll show the other accessory it comes with. Bright gold shoes, scorpion detailing on the front, goes pretty high about mid leg up. One thing I like about these shoes, and I will tilt it to the side so you guys can appreciate this, telescope heels. Awesome. Love it. Great, great shoes for Gigi. I really like it. New shoe molds, awesome. I know that's been a big thing with a lot of the shoes now for a lot of the dolls, um, with like the Venus and a few other things that have been coming out, that they've just been repainting or recoloring the shoes. Again, I'm so in love that they're actually giving new shoes. It's great. And I love it. And I love the little stars on the side. Telescopes look great. Ah, oh, really awesome. I really love the gold jewelry and it really ties together with the telescope on this doll. Just everything goes so well. And then here's her last accessory, which is a purple lunch bag. And it has a little monster high emblem on there. That's one thing I really miss about going to like elementary school, middle school, and stuff like that was the field trips and having to bring your own lunch. It's like, I miss that. Adults should go on field trips. <laughs> it's so cute. And I love this little bag it comes with. Again, it's a really, it's a sturdy little piece. And it's dark purple, too. It's like a dark, almost like a rich plum. Not plum. Adult, violet, violet. Adults' field trips are called vacation. No, it's different. Like, you take the With middle of the day. Money. And, no, you take the middle of the day off. And you go for, like, two hours to go to, like, the science center. And then you come back. Like, I would love to do that in the middle of the day of work. <laughs> Vacations are longer. But whatever. But field trips are fun. I miss them. And, again, love this doll. I love Toralife from the other reviews. So make sure you check her out. I don't know. I'm kind of torn, though. I, I can't decide between Twirlai and Gigi on this. And I want to give you guys a comparison or let you guys kind of see all the Gigi's that have come out. Again, she keeps getting prettier, I feel like. I don't know. I love it. And I love how, like, this at first was, like, half orange, half pink. Then this is half orange, half pink with this. And then this one, they gave her a lot of pink. So, and then the lipstick differences on these is great. Like, I love the blue on this. It makes it really pop out. But she looks more sweet on the on the free, uh, freaky... I can't even talk. Freaky field, field trip, trip one, and I don't know, I just really, I love Gigi now. She wasn't one of my favorites, but now she is. And I love the chest piece tattoo. So comment below, what do you guys think about the new Gigi? And also, so far, who is your favorite out of the three from the Freaky Field Trip line? Again, I'm 50-50 with the Torlai and the Gigi. They're so cute. I love her dress. Favorite piece on this? Hair and the dress. Cute that they actually put so much detailing to actually put a constellation on her dress. And as always, check out our Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter where we're always posting different things. Make sure to subscribe because we post a video every day for you guys because we do appreciate it. And thanks so much again for all the viewers and everybody watching and everybody who's been, been so loyal since the beginning with us. I really appreciate it. And always make sure to check out the credits because Chase always puts some really pretty pictures of the dolls on the credits. And as always, thanks for watching, you guys. I love her. She's so cute. <laughs>